Yo what is up guys, Skill Issue here and welcome back to another Gacha Modding tutorial video. Today we'll have a very detailed look at Zenless Zone Zero. By the end of this video you should have a fully functional modding setup, allowing you to swap between character skins with ease as well as deal with any issues that might come along the way. But if you're still facing troubles, do let me know in the comments down below, we'll solve the problem together. And in the case you're concerned about getting banned, you can trust me, with a few steps this is 100% safe. When compared to Unreal Engine games like Girls Frontline 2 or Withering Waves, it's a walk on the park. Games made with Unity will always be the easiest mod target and I definitely encourage everyone to try it out. To get the skins working, you have to change some settings in the game. Onto the graphics settings, you'll want to keep the character quality high and turn off dynamic character resolution. It makes your character appear less cubey when turned on, but it also makes your mod look like this. So we're turning it off. Next, we'll download 3D Migoto for modding ZZZ, link in the description. As I've explained once in my Genshin tutorial video, 3D Migoto is the only way you can mod these games without getting banned. You're not messing with any of the game's files, every mod will be simply put on top of the character, showing the mods only on your screen and nowhere else. You can think of it as an invisible code that is only visible to you. However, if you're caught using mods, you will get banned. Say for example, if someone has a screenshot of you using mods with your UID visible on it, that's the kind of stuff that can get you banned. But whether or not, if you wish to share screenshots with anyone, there are mods that will hide your UID for you. We'll talk about them later though. But for now, back to 3D Migoto, remember to download this folder into an easy access location in your computer. Like your desktop, for example. Because you'll need to manage it oftentimes depending on how many mods you get. Once it's done downloading, you'll want to extract this with either 7-zip or WinRAR. And no, it doesn't matter which one you use. But I do prefer 7-zip, so I'll leave a link for you guys. After extracting it, um... Okay, hold on, I gotta change the name here. Let me put ZZZ so I don't accidentally open the wrong 3D Migoto. You should open the file and have a look inside, just to be a little familiar with what you're working with. The elements you'll want to focus on are these three. The mod folder, where you'll put your skins as well as the majority of things. The shader fixes, where you'll put things if the mod description asks you to put them in it like the transparency filter remover for example, and I also want you to check this help paper over here. It's good to have a look at it before doing anything really. And last but not least, the 3D Migoto loader. Keep in mind, if you want to mod ZZZ, you'll open this before opening the game every time. So go ahead and make a shortcut of it. Run as administrator and there you go. Now it's asking us to open the game. Now I know you're hardly containing yourself to go get those morally questionable skins, but we're not done yet here, baby girl. Every time the game updates, some of your mods will look like this. These are outdated skin mods, but we can salvage some of them. We need the latest version of ZZZ mod fix, in my case 1.6, and place that in your mod folder. No need for extractions, open it once, have a look at it, make sure it looks like this, no errors, Okay, good. Now let's get ourselves a skin. Hop on Game Banana, search games, Zenless Zone Zero, a character's name. Good God. Cl uh, click one that you like. Hopefully not too old, as you can see this one's been updated recently. Check the description if there's anything important in there, like toggles and stuff. Scroll down to files, and you're gonna click on the one that's been updated recently. Click it again, download it to where 3D Migoto mod folder is, and once it's done, you'll open that same mod folder and extract the mod. I recommend you don't use extract here, cause the mod's contents may burst all over the place. And alright, well done. Now for the big moment, let's open the game. If everything is done correctly, you should see this message pop up. Okay, now go check on your character. And there you go, simple as that. And if one of the skins you added isn't working, before giving up on it and deleting it, try opening modfix to see if it can, well, fix it. 
wait a moment, press enter, and then wait for a few seconds, maybe swap character, if it's fixed, great. If not, well too bad, we gotta remove it now and try another skin. It's important that you remove the extracted mods, because if you use more than one mod per character, they're gonna clash into each other and look kinda weird. Then again, you might want to try being a smartass, like the guy that's speaking in the microphone right now, and use two mods at once. Like, you know, if one mod covers the weapon and the other mod covers the body of the character, those two should work together, right? Now, to swap mods, you don't have to restart the game every time you add a new skin, okay? Just delete the old skin, extract the new one, and then press F10 to refresh. But, if you wish to add multiple skins and swap them easily, you can download a mod manager. It's a mod to manage your mods. Download it in the mod folder, extract it, open it, double click the ZZZ icon. Now it's gonna ask you about your language, where your mod folder is, etc. Shouldn't really take that long to set up, maybe like 2 minutes. Also, a quick shout out to my all-time favorite mod, the UID Hider. Okay, hear me out. You want to stream, screenshot, share your beautiful wife on her new outfit. You're gonna need this. The moment your UID is out, you're out. Reported, banned, no father, game over. I downloaded all three of them, cause you never know when one might stop working. There's plenty more goated mods in here, but you can go check for yourself. And before I end the video, I'd like to talk about some issues I've had while modding ZZZ and how I fixed them. Now hopefully these help you if you're facing the same, the same problems. So issue number one, when I downloaded a Nekomata skin, it kind of broke the texture of the other characters. Even the ones I hadn't modded yet for some reason just started looking real QB, like broken. So whenever you get a new skin, check the other characters, make sure everything is fine. Anyways, there's that, moving on to the second issue I've had. Some of the mods you'll add will look fine at first, except for maybe the weapon or hair. You can fix some of these by deleting the part of the mod that is broken. Here, for example, we have Grace as Pultra. Her gun looks like a nice mosaic. We delete the weapon files, and now it's back to Grace's weapon. Well, it's not technically fixed, but it is much better than what it was before. And if this doesn't work out, you can just bring back the deleted file, no big deal. But anyways, that's the video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and if you learned something useful, make sure to not drop a like and subscribe. <laughs> I'll catch you all on the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye!